Hi everyone, in this video we will solve the actual questions which came in the year of CAD 2021 from slot 1. We will see all the questions and its detailed solution also. At the same time, people and students who are looking forward for CAD online coaching can see and visit the MBAP Education main website to see the details of all the CAD online and the self-paced courses which is going to help you out to crack in the upcoming year. You guys can actually see and attend one of the trial sessions which will be taken by the top IM faculties on the given numbers which you can see on the screen as well as on the website try to get in touch with all the counsellors and the faculties who will help you out to choose the right course and to choose the right mentorship program. At the same time, please do subscribe to the given channel and see the Instagram handle of MBA Park Shala to see all and get all the updates of your exams and the colleges which you guys are looking forward to join in the, in the upcoming year. The student dashboard has full of learning content right in the form of e-learning courses of live lectures as well as pre-recorded sessions so that you guys can take the help for cracking the CAT exam. On this note, let's see the first question which you can see on the screen. If you read the question, the question says f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 15 divided by x squared minus 7x minus 18 is negative if and only if when is this going to be negative. So you have to find a range of x, you have to find a range of x for which f of x will become negative. Now the numerator of this expression is x square plus 2x minus 15 and the denominator is x square minus 7x minus 18. Let's try to find out, let's try to find out the roots of this equation. So the numerator will have the roots of what? The expression will become x plus 5 and x minus 3 and the denominator will become x minus 9 into x plus so the roots of the given numerator will become what? This is going to become minus 5 and plus 3. And the denominator will become, it's going to become plus 9 and it's going to become plus 2. Now let's try to plot these roots, I repeat, let's try to plot these roots on a number line. Now if we try to plot these roots on the number line, let's plot these numbers. Obviously the lowest number will be minus 5 followed by minus 2, 0 somewhere in between. You'll have plus 3 and you'll have plus 9. Now all what we will do is, we will see the range of values by checking any of the numbers, by checking the numbers on the given range, minus 5 to minus 2, 2 to plus 3 and then 3 to 9 and 9 beyond. Certainly, if I check any number which is more than 9, if I check any number which is more than 9 and try to put it here, all the values of x plus 5, x minus 3, x minus 9 and x plus 2 will become positive and the whole expression or the function will become positive will become positive. So 9 beyond on this number line will become positive. If you choose anything between 3 to 9, if you choose anything between 3 to 9, let's say if you put 4, obviously the numerator will become positive, but the numerator will be 4 minus 9 which is minus 5, so this is going to become, this will be negative. So certainly if you go with this range, you will find 9 beyond on the number line will be positive, 3 to 9 will be negative, anything in the range of minus 2 to plus 3 will again become positive and minus 5 to plus 2 will again become negative and this will also be positive. Now the question is where do you see the function becoming negative? I see one of the ranges between minus 5 and minus 2 and the second range is between 3 to 9. So which option will you mark? Among all the options that we have got, we will mark option number A to be the correct and the concise range in which the function will become negative. I hope you have understood it well.